Remember, folks, I'm just a Muppet in a chair. Don't take me seriously. I was just excited that that's what my arm started doing. She was doing this for 30 <laughs> seconds before the video turned on, folks. Because we're, we're watching Carl. We're watching Carl. We're we love Carl. Carl. Uh, welcome back, my Hi. lovely little Boomer Rizzles. Uh, we got Queen Boomer here. I'm back. And we're finally getting another uh, reaction in of An Idiot Abroad. I this is episode six. Uh, they're going to Brazil. Probably going to see Christ the Redeemer. I want to go to Brazil. Yeah, Brazil sounds fun. And it's, clo it's closer to us. Yeah. Than other places. Yeah, so. it won't be a 10-hour plane ride. No, it'll probably be like a four-hour plane ride. Yeah. Maybe more, who knows. But, uh, yeah, this is the one episode where I can't really remember much of anything. I think they yeah. go to like that famous... Um, there's like a famous festival in Brazil. I forget what it's called, but I think they go to that maybe. I'm yeah, and then I'm sure. But they who go knows? To the like I'm literally like I'm trying to remember stuff from this episode. Well, that's good, and that means it's going to be it's like going to be fresh reaction, very for fresh. You. Yeah, but most of these, as the first five episodes that we reacted to, like I forgot most of those too. But this mm -hmm. one, I feel like I'm forgetting all of it. So. Well, you said it's been a while since you've watched these. It's been a long time. Yeah. yeah. But uh, anyway. We're happy that Carl Pilkington is back in our lives. Me too. We love that uh, round-headed fuck. And we know you guys too. So remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And uh, let's get into an idiot abroad. You ready, babe? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Carl, sending you to see Christ the Redeemer. A magnificent religious symbol that towers down over Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. What's your first thoughts of it? Look how big that statue is i just think of the people who live in rio right they've got that there every day when they leave the house they see it yeah oh it's there again sick of seeing it <laughs> like a pile on to them that <laughs> you get sick of it um, it's a good place to meet you know it's you, you know you can see it from everywhere yeah i don't think it was built as a rendezvous point to be there <laughs> i think it's also something to do with the spirituality of the country but it's not just that that you'll be seeing you'll be experiencing Brazil as well, a magnificent country. You know the carnival's going to be on when you're there. What a gay, isn't he? Is, does that... Is, what are you saying? Do you, do you... I don't know. You'll be seeing, you'll be experiencing Brazil as well, a magnificent country. You know the carnival's going to be on when you're there. What a gay, isn't he? Is, a lot does of that, gays. Is, is, do, you, do you feel like you have to be part of that to enjoy it? Yeah, Ricky's cringing. I'm stunned. Well... I don't, I, he's so confused because I don't think the carnival Rio Carnival again? is known specifically for its gay fans. I hate that there, are a, there are a lot of men with tans and little posing pouches. Listen, if you want to see a guy in his speedos and nothing else, this is the place to go, Carl, if that's what... Mm, that's what I mean. I'm not really into that. Can we make a note to make sure that we can do we, get him can in we, a thong? Can we please at least beach? get in the spirit? No, Why I'm, not? Not, I'm not doing anything that but I wouldn't do, normally do on holiday. No, but you're... Oh, 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 oh. When you're on the beach, you're in trunks, aren't you? No, I don't. I just wear shorts. So, how short? How short? What's the shortest shorts you'd be willing to wear? <laughs> Would you wear hot pants? No, there's no need for that. There's no need. No need no. to wear trunks like that. No, I'm not doing anything for the cameras. I'm not Red braces? Out. I'm just Red... going to go. I'm going to go and look at this. I have noticed, going from, like, the US to Europe, their swim trunks are a lot shorter yeah. than our swim trunks here. Like, yours come to, like, Mm -hmm. There, there's come to like here, and then or I also they just saw, wear speedos. Yeah, I also saw a lot of men in saw speedos. Saw that too. Yeah, especially when I went to France. It's different. A lot of speedos in France. Mm -hmm. They ain't afraid to show off their legs. They ain't afraid. I am because I got chicken legs. You don't have chicken <laughs> legs. You should wear shorter shorts so you could tan them. You don't have I'll chicken just pull legs. Them up They're just for thirty flat. minutes. <laughs> you just got watch legs. Plus I, don't, plus, I don't want my scrotum to fall out. Oh my gosh! That's what. That's all I'm doing. I don't need to go to the gay parade. There's no need. That's not, not the, the gay wonder. parade. Not a gay parade. <laughs> right. Um, enjoy it. The gay parade. He thinks it's a gay parade. It's not. Look at how pretty. It's huge. Imagine how tough it was to get it up there. Oh my gosh! I want to go now. This is the hottest I've ever experienced, this. Absolutely 
Oh, see that. No, we're from Florida. We'll yeah. be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Is that the Jesus thing up there, Chris? Just see all right on that hill. The mountains yeah, are so that's pretty. The Jesus thing. It's not as big as I thought it would be. What do you think of this? This is uh, Copacabana Beach. It's all right, isn't it? I mean, I know I didn't come for that. I meant to be looking at the, the Jesus thing, but this I mean, makes the Jesus thing better, doesn't it? You know, that's like a nice little added extra. You're on the thinking. beach, have a look up. There it is. What, that thing that's in the films. Oh, aye. Going swimming again. <sighs> Still hot though, isn't it? I mean, is it normal to have sweaty ears? I've never had a sweaty ear in my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're not, they're not even doing anything in the rock. He's going to win this whole trip, though. This, the, the, I mean, a place that looks like that with mountains and stuff and everywhere though i i this this is my criticism of i don't like it when the buildings are like very tall i, I don't like either. they obstruct obstruct like i've never liked tall buildings. beautiful bills ne neither have i yeah i think that's why we liked athens so much yeah the build i mean the second part we went to had tall buildings the first part didn't that's true but that's why i liked um like sparta and Paros. Mm -hmm. I liked Paros because there were hardly any buildings. Yeah. It was all just very naturey, and I liked that. And then I liked Sparta because it was just like little towns. It was not like big, even in the city, it wasn't super big buildings. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because, yeah, I want to be able to see the landscape. Yeah, me too. Just got to get to the place that Ricky and Steve have sorted out for me to stay at. I don't know anything about it other than um, they said that it was a good place to meet people. I don't know what that means. Hi. Hi. I'm Welcome Carl. Welcome to Pirates of Ipanema. So this is your gaff, is it? Yeah. Let's go, man. This is a kitchen, and when you cook anything, you try to keep clean it, the area, OK? Not so me, that's until the last fellow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this normally, it's a, it's a place for a pool table, but in carnival, man, stay crazy with the 100 persons inside of the house. Okay, and the people sleep in their mattress. It's going to be 100 people, isn't it? Yeah, people sleep there, man. Pay more cheaper, but sleep there, because it's crazy. And this is your dorm. You stay here, close off the window. Oh. He's not going to like this. Mm -mm. How much is it here? How much is it normally to stay here for a night? Four pounds, point five. Have you got anything for about six quid? What? That's a little bit better. Anything for just a little bit, dear, or just a little bit? Just. Around six or seven pounds. No, man, no, we oh. don't have. Oh, man. Uh, Would you stay in a hostel like that? No. He's roughing it, then he's roughing it. This isn't proper roughing it. This is just scruffy bastards. This is scruffy bastards. <laughs> it's, right. it's like you're in a Still. frat house. Yeah. Four quid. I don't know, that looks nicer than some I of think the frat it's overpriced. houses I've seen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In Gainesville. Oh, you are having a laugh. Well, Ricky and Steve thought you needed to socialise with other people, so that's why they I put you... I love socialising. I don't do that. I'm just not that sort of person. I'm old in my age now. You know, I've got enough friends. I've always said you only need seven mates to get you through life. That's it. That's why, you know, I've mentioned Snow White with the midgets. She had them all covered in seven. Same thing again with friends. I've just found out. Oh, it's him. <laughs> I just love how he's applying Snow White logic. Yeah. To real life. Oh my God, Carl. Oh. Oh, uh, protect him at all costs, <laughs> please. He he I is one of your national treasures. Him. I swear, I love that guy. Got the Rio Carnival's on. Uh, which is the big dance thing that they do in Brazil every year. Ricky and Steve are probably aware of this, and that's why they've sent me here this time of year, you know, because they know I don't like crowds. They know I don't like parties, so to them, this is hilarious. Hickey. Oh, hey, you can't. They've sorted out a local fella called a Hickey who's going to teach me how to do the samba. He's, uh, he's going to pick me up on his motorbike. You know, I came to dance. Oh, no. He 
doesn't like anything. Prepare each of you to do this big parade, okay? So, first of all, we should uh, what, do a little bit. What do you mean? We are going to parade with this big school of samba. Well, we I'm going to be doing it in front of thousands of people, camera, and everything else. It's going to be quite a uh, performance. Like that. Oh, they're going to put him in it? Okay, you there, here. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Are you doing great? Front, back, cha, cha. Cha. No, 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 no. Did you do this? Is there no area where no. you've just got a load of I'm, people? I could not, I'm not coordinated. No, 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 no. Is there no area where you've just got a load of people who aren't very good, but you let them take part because they're it's simple or something? Just put no, me with them. I'm pushing you to the higher level. That's what you're going to wear in this, your headdress. You're just going to look lovely in this. Nice. Oh, I love it. Perfect. It looks great. <clears throat> Is everyone going to be wearing this? Everyone's going to be like that. That's, what, that's one of the things I do know about the uh, festival. They wear some very... Uh, Fun outfits. Colorful. What is the name of the festival? Wild oh. outfits. I, I don't know. I can't remember. I used to know. I just I, know. I can't remember. I hope they say it. It's, it's bothering me, yeah. I'm not ready for this, am I? I mean this is like their well, World Cup final, too. isn't it? And you wouldn't you wouldn't say, oh, Carl likes a game of footy, stick him in goal. They shouldn't have me anywhere near it. What do you think? It looks great. Andy Pandy on crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you look good, Carl. Oh my gosh, imagine hiking to that. I mean, I'm in Rio, right? I'm meant to be seeing Christ the Redeemer. So, what am I doing dressed up like a clown taking part in a carnival? I mean, what am I meant to get out of this? To this. It's not a good sign, is it? I've got shit on it and the thing's coming off. I'm sure one day I'll look back at this and go, oh, it's in the carnival. But it's just not happening now. I'm sort of thinking, I'm in the carnival now. Like, what am I doing here? Uh, here we go. I think I have an I think it's just like carnival papers. I mean, when a hickey said, you know, we were going to a samba drone, I pictured something. Just something it looks fun. This, really. I mean, what, what is this? We're in the middle of Very nowhere. Very colourful. It's like a trading estate, isn't it? Uh, with a bit of kitchen lino on the road for people to dance down. People sat either side on the chairs. I mean, it's, it's nothing special, is it? Our, Very our special. Float starts, I think three or four floats that way. So really, I couldn't be any further back. I mean, it's, it's almost like being at the back of uh, the London Marathon. By the time I go over the end line, people are at home in bed. Yeah, I might as well be dressed as a rhino in a fun room. I feel like that. I mean, I'm next to like a couple of old women now. You know. Yeah, yeah look at them. They're so really. excited. I'm right at the back, and with some 70-year-olds. If I can't look good in this, <laughs> I shouldn't be here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Killing it. <laughs> At least he's participating. Yeah, he's not and it seems like he's having anything. fun. Seems like How he's having fun. How could you not fun. have fun in this environment? I know, right? I'm happy they put him in the parade. Oh, are they getting judged? Yeah. Oh shit, I didn't know that. I think so. It looks so, like it. So get Carl the fuck out of there. I know. <laughs> well, I think he's with like the older people, so they already know. I, not gonna I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But I, yeah, I did not know that they were being uh, it judged. It looked like it. Well, I'm not good, I'm not These are all probably like different like dance schools and stuff. Oh, I can't blister. 
Mm. I don't know if she's in the carnival or just earning a few quid at this time of night. I've no idea. I think you were just checking out her ass. Yeah, I think so. I dread to think what her ass is like. Oh, what did you say? Carnival or just earning a few quid at this time of night. I've no idea. I mean, if I've got blisters on my feet, I dread to think what her ass is like. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, my God. It's a golden. Are you going to go for a walk? Too much Axe body spray. I forget it. Not worth it, is it? You've seen the mattress. Not worth it. You've seen the toilets. It's the equivalent of having one of those sort of Romanians that traffic lights clean your windscreen. They don't do a good job because they can't. They've got some dirty water and a dirty sponge. <laughs> Same as in there. But, uh, like a shower, I can't sleep anywhere yeah, tonight. Like <sighs> Go party, Carl. No, it's embarrassing, isn't it? I'm like, I could be some of their dads. Be like your dad going to a party that you're having and stuff. I mean, I'm hoping that they kind of think I am old, and at least when they come back up here later, they might be quiet, don't wake him up, he's old. I'd be happier in an old people's home. So... <laughs> yes, he would! Yes, he would! I'd be happier in an old people's home. Oh, he's such an old man. He is. Oh. Reminds me of someone. The ultimate winger. We love you, Carl. Seriously. Reminds me of someone. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. They'd all be in bed now. <laughs> what happened yesterday when we tried to go to... A restaurant. Uh, we didn't go because there was way too many people there. Yeah. They were having, like, a fucking party. And he wanted no part of it. No. He even called me my government name. He usually calls me Babe. And he was like, look at all the people, Callie. <laughs> I'm doing it. And I told you beforehand, I was like, I do not, because this specific restaurant is, like, Sundays are bananas there. But they have it's half crazy. Off sushi on Sundays. Yeah, and every half the people in the entire within twenty five miles of here goes there. And it's all drunk people below the age of like oh my god twenty five. Yeah. They're all going nuts. So I get it, but I just wanted sushi. But I go in there, I could it couldn't even find a parking spot. So yeah, I'm like I'm out of here. We could have parked and then walked a mile. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's good for you. It's good for the joints. <laughs> I think they're having a great time down there. I do. I think I'd be like, well, if you can't beat them, join them. Oh, that's pretty. Did you sleep? Where the bollocks? Can you sleep in this? I can't do this. Seriously, I can't do it. I'm not letting Ricky and Steve sort of do this. Because that isn't what it's about. I'd go get my own credit card and get a hotel. Yeah, right. They tell you what. They wouldn't do it. Well, no. They probably all went to bed at like 5 a.m. Rick and Steve wouldn't be doing it. You know what I mean? No, they wouldn't. No way Steve could hack it here. He goes on to his mum and dad's when he's got a cold. You know that? Right Wait a minute, house. did he say he goes to his mom and dad's when he has a cold? Yeah. <laughs> really? Steve Merch does Steve. that? Well, oh, Carl's talking talking shit. Men are pretty bad when they have colds. So I could see that. But I see him being a baby when he has a cold, too. Yeah. There's no way Steve could hack it. He goes on to his mom and dad's when he's got a cold. You know that? That's right, my dad.
That's since crazy. It's the first time I've seen it. Since I've, uh, since I've been here. I don't even get the impression they're that religious here, to be honest. I suppose with uh, a lot of religious people, it's, it's about covering up, isn't it? And being quiet, you know, not being sexy. Whereas here, you know, you, you feel like you've been out with some other woman, you've seen that much of them. You know, everything's on show, isn't it? There's nothing left to the imagination here. Let women dress how they want, Carl. I mean... Any, yeah, and anybody who's been pestering her about covering up, she can wear whatever the fuck she wants. Yeah. Okay? This is what I'm in. Every once in a while we get comments like, tell your girl to cover up. Jesus Christ, do you have no dignity? And I was just worried to Do you have no dignity? I'm sorry. Cover I'm your sorry woman that up. Boobs I think exist. you just don't like w women, pal. Just because you're fr as frustrated doesn't mean the rest of us have to be too. I'm gonna be okay. a, I'm gonna be a mom and I will show my belly. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm proud of it. But to what he said about um you know, he thought like religious people like they all cover up. Not not all of them. No, you can yeah. still be a Christian and wear a thon bikini. That doesn't mean you don't still believe in Jesus or God yeah. if you want to wear a thon bikini. I never right. got that correlation. Yeah, and there's you know, I mean, even in ancient thing like the ancient Greeks and Romans were extremely religious, but uh, they. Would draw, you know, graffiti they porn. On, they drew, especially the Romans, they would draw the graffiti porn on the walls. Yeah. So. Well, whatever created us made us in this body, so I don't get. Yeah, but it's not always. I mean, there are some like traditional Christians who, you know, want people to cover up and stuff. And that's fine. If that's what works in your life, then you do that. Yeah. But, but it's, it's not for not, everybody. It's not for everyone, exactly. There's Christians who like to flaunt everything. That was, so. <laughs> that was our TED talk. Yeah. Shame. No shame. Just. Just nipping out for a loaf. I mean, I go to bed normally wearing more than that, just in case something happens in the night, a fire alarm goes off or something, you've got to leave the house. I have thought of that, though. It's mad, though, isn't it? Because I'm here in Brazil, you know, to see Christ the Redeemer, right? the wonder of the world, the reason oh, why I'm meant to be here. And yet Rick and Steve are saying, oh, don't be worrying about that yet. We've got some other plans for you. You know, get down to the beach and meet this local fella. His name's Celso, you know, he's, he's going to show you around the, the place. Beach nice. You. Tell me what's going on. You will see in a minute. Is he taking him to a war? Why is there no other men in here? Why is there no other men? There's a woman well, over there looking no. at me in a funny way. Yeah, they, they, they have a woman here, but they have a lot of men that come here too. You've known me now for a, a bit. After a bit. Will I be happy with this? No. Wait. Well, you know those guys that do surf? They wax here. Would you like to try? Not really. Do I seem like the sort of bloke who, who has a wax? I'm like an ape. Well, you look you look nice to have a wax. It's gonna work a lot. Yeah, but my girlfriend likes it. She likes Does it. She? Yeah, she loves it. She loves the airy bit. I can get out while you get undressed if you want. No, no. <sighs> That's a chocolate. Why don't you try even on, on your arms a little bit? I feel much better without a hair. Yeah. <laughs> well, that bit you're having done there, I wouldn't mind getting that done, because sometimes I have to tuck it in my pants. That's a sign it's a bit too long, isn't it, when you have to start tucking it in. Oh, Jesus, it's hot. Relax. If you don't relax, you won't Would enjoy you do this? Oh, Jesus, that's no, bad, that. Did, that did. is bad. She did. She took a bit then. No, just a little bit, just to see if it's ready. Ah, uh, 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 Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, his that's eyes! Painful. His eyes killed me. <laughs> oh, man. Is he bleeding? Uh, uh, because it feels is it bleeding? It parts. feels good for that split it's second that, like, the heat's put on. No, it's yeah. not good. Ah, uh, no. uh, Jesus. <laughs> Is he bleeding? Uh, uh, there is a, there is two other parts. If I left it, would it look stupid? Oh, yes. it's not good. Yes. It seems that you have something here. 
And she shouldn't be laughing, to be honest. Oh, we look so clean. Yeah? Yeah. You look nice. Really nice. I suppose it's good for me to meet different kinds of people, isn't it? You know, there's no point having mates who are all the same. Let's see some boom boom. Something for the beach. What do you think? I I don't think this is necessary. I mean, Celso's different. <laughs> oh, that's why he got waxed cigar. first. He'd be like, you know, a new addition. Would you like to see some of these over there in front? To see each one fits on you? No, honestly, I don't I don't want a pair. See, there's no wrong with these. Do you know what I mean? That's all you need. How'd you feel if I wore something short like that? You wear whatever you want. Yeah? Yeah. You know I can't do it? Why? And it's not because I wouldn't be comfortable in them. It's because I got these chicken legs. You don't have chicken legs. You have nice legs. You just need to tan them. Oh, no, I got chicken legs. No, I've seen your legs. You have nice legs. You just need to tan them. Do I have chicken legs? You're being legs? way too nice right now. Do I have chicken legs? No. No, I have fat you, legs. You have beautiful legs. I have chunk chunk legs. You have goddess legs. I have drumsticks. No, you have goddess legs. Okay. Thank you. As some of the comments I've seen from some of the uh, male boomerites can attest. I don't know. They got thick thighs. They need to slim down a little bit. But some of the not going to. Some of the commenters are only here on this channel <laughs> for your legs. Okay, thanks. So, <laughs> as I've read, seen, uh, read a few of them in the past. They chunky. So. Don't think I haven't seen them, folks. They're not chunky. Stop it. I don't know if I'm seeing the real Brazil, to be honest. I mean, I, oh well. No, I just mean in terms of like, you know, what I've been up to. Tall and tan and young and handsome, the boy from me, Panina. I love no this guy. And when he passes, each one he passes goes, oh, here I am. How do I look? <laughs> no, well, he, he, he bought me some. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> I not just your hat. <laughs> Do you think he's gonna wear it? I think he should. You're in Brazil. You're gonna. You're not gonna run into a coworker. I mean, he's. I know that. TV, but but he's he's obviously uncomfortable with it. Okay. Well, then yeah. If you're uncomfortable, you shouldn't be forced to wear something. But be comfortable. You know what's funny? Like I'm thinking about this. I think I would rather do the. Uh... Actually, I know I would rather do the. Uh... The short. Um little swimsuit rather than the fucking waxing yeah the wa I, I do Have you ever i'm looking at that before? waxing no but i i don't want to find Can I out wax you no just one spot no, because you just want me to go through pain no i just want to I just look want at to your little you evil too. grin who votes i should just wax one little part of ryan it could be an arm you know we'd have to make a video leg. of it let me wax you i've gotten waxed before it's not that bad it feels well, really nice when they first put the wax on. And then on. when they rip it off. <laughs> no, there's like a trick. You wax it and then you like slap it. You like put pressure on it and then it goes away. And then you put a little aloe vera. Oh, so you beat the shit out of, out of me to yeah. the point where I, all the pain. Or you numb it. You smack it has and already, then you put the wax on. It has already it been off. dealt to me that, <laughs> yeah. that by the time I get my skin ripped off, I'm not even going to feel it anymore. What did you do? You when just I... want to abuse me. What did you do when I had to drink that glucose water? What do you mean? What did I do? You laughed at me. You were like, ha ha ha. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I did not. You did. You did. I was trying to no. If if anything, I was trying to get you to hurry up drink it because you only had what like I had to five drink minutes, it in five minutes. Under, yeah, you drink it under in five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I was trying to help you. I still Maybe I thought it. I, I will admit I thought it was a little amusing. Why? Just because because it is. Why was it amusing? Because you were like, all right, I got to drink it in five minutes, and then like the water level, <laughs> like say this is a full water bottle, the water level went from like here to here in four minutes. You were I like, know, you were like, all right, I got to drink this in five minutes. 
<laughs> it did not taste good. I don't know if you've never taken a glucose test, but I had to take it for my pregnancy. And you have to drink an entire water bottle. Just chug it. That tastes like salty fruit punch in under five minutes, and it's very hard. Salty fruit punch? That That's sounds delicious. It like. No, it was not good. I love fruit punch. How dare With you? With salt in it? How dare you? With like a gallon. There's already salt You're getting in fruit waxed. Punch. <laughs> You're getting waxed. And it's not going to be your arm now. <laughs> All right, let's let's continue. I'm waxing your belly. <laughs> Never mind, I can't say what? it on stream. I was gonna be like, could you wax my balls, please? Yeah, All nice. right. <laughs> <laughs> like in the uh, learn English video. I don't I don't understand why you need that much of a tan. When I get home, I won't I won't be saying. Look at the colour of me, I'm whipping my ass out. <laughs> Just the face. <laughs> Look at my tan. Oh, this ass out. So pretty. You're feeling hot, aren't you? Because well, I'm not used you're to this. My feet are killing me. How about the the thing that I bought you yesterday? Don't you feel comfortable now that it's so hot to wear it? Because I'm gonna wear mine. I'm already wearing. Mm -hmm. You know, they'd see me ass and they'd be looking at it and going, "Oh, look at the state of him! <laughs> look at the state of him! <laughs> they are, they are." I have to tell you a story about this part of the beach. On the 70s, all I mean, if anything, they've influenced us because I've noticed, like, over the last 20 years, like, the swimwear from 20 years ago is much more con uh, conservative and less revealing than it is now. Yeah. Even here. Yeah. I mean, I think... Uh, I hardly ever see men wearing, like, Speedo yeah. type Well, definitely for girls. Things, girls... Well, you told me girls in Maryland didn't wear bathing suits like the girls in Florida. No, they don't, but, uh, no, in Florida, in Florida. Not even, even in, like, Ocean City? I mean, you'll see, see, you know, pretty revealing, like, bikinis and stuff, uh, every, every once in a while, but, but not like, like down, not like here. Down here, like, there's no, like, every girl wears. Thong bikinis. G-string and, bikinis. Yeah. My favorite bikini Chelsea got for me was from Brazil. Oh, yeah? And it's nice because they don't have, like, tags on them. Like, the tags were, like, like abbreviated. I think that's because bikini. art... I, yeah, I think that's because uh, when you sell a bikini here, like, they have to write down, like, the instructions all, all these different things on this little yeah. tag just so they don't get sued somehow. Yeah, you know? now in Brazil, it's just a bikini. Like, yeah. the tag you rip off and then there's nothing else on it. Yeah. Like, you don't have to cut it off of the off. But God forbid uh, some girl gets a bikini, buys a bikini here, and then uh, gives herself a wedgie, and then feels like she has to sue the bikini, co the company that sold, sells those bikinis. Yeah. You know, because that's something and that would happen here. They're, like, nice material. Like, the bikinis here, the outside will have the design, but the inside will be, like, white. Mm -hmm. And then if it does ride up, you, like, see the white. Mm -hmm. This one, the design's on the inside and out of it. Yeah. So if it rides up, it still like looks like the design. Yeah. Which I think I don't know. I think they make better bikinis. But it's gonna look at you. They are. They are. <laughs> I have to tell you a story about this part of the beach. On the seventies, all the artists used to come here, smoke marijuana, and do this kind of stuff. And then since then, this part of the beach become a very famous and a gay beat too. And I would like to sit down because I'm tired. We've been walking miles, just keep going for another couple of minutes. I just love the arrangement of that sentence. <laughs> Listen to that one more time. This part of the beach become a very famous and a gay beat too. And I would like to sit down because I'm tired. <laughs> We've been walking miles, just keep going for another couple of minutes. Oh, I'm so tired. Come on. I would like to sit down. It's, I mean, oh, it's yeah, good to sit down right there. Let's keep walking. Bloody hell, we're only another two minutes, we'll be out of it. Come on. We can, but I would like to sit down. Don't worry about it. It's a beach like any other beach. Yeah, but it's, I honestly, do you know what I said about it's being so closed nice. in? He's so oh, uncomfortable. This, uh -huh. this weather. Yeah, I'm not enjoying oh, this it. This wind, much, so delicious. No, there, there is a chair for us. Oh, I, don't don't I need a chair. Me dá a cadeira, minha linda, por favor. Obrigado, sim. So, 
Oh, delicious. Massive beach. Let's he goes, oh, delicious. Lovely. Oh, I'm sorry, but I have to take my take. Did you see that guy playing with his... Oh, my God. Are you, are you gay or... What do you think? It's hard to tell. Hmm? It's hard to tell. I think there's a friend of mine. Not that much to see you again. Are you going to throw a show for us today? Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, Marcelo. Marcelo. I'm Carl. Nice Carl. to meet you. Hi, Carl. How are you doing? Welcome to Rio. You're happy. But look, you're frying <laughs> over there. No, I'm fine. Because I've got, I've got a few, I've got protection. Fine. I've got you can't be fine. Oh, honestly. It's clothes in Rio de Janeiro. It's like, please your ego. You have no votive value. You're all so whitey and gee, you get pinky. It's a lovely cuddler. Like really, really lovely. Different from everyone else. People like the difference. So why do you have to hide your beauty? Just, I keep it for my girlfriend. A girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you mean the others? What others? What do you mean the rest of humanity? You just need to be looked at. This is what the beach is all about. It's not. That's why I don't come here that much. I don't like being looked at. I just thought a quiet bit. If let's go for a quiet walk. Let's not have a look at a quiet walk. Really? Look at this. <laughs> I'm going to have some, some <laughs> message, and I would like you guys to join me. No, I'll watch. I don't need one. What is he going to do to you? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Seen people have a back rub. Fucking hell. He's so mad. Poor Carl. I tell you what, he should have had his arse done yesterday, shouldn't he? He had his back in his front. Are you okay? <laughs> you want to get a little ass massage? Oh man. Oh. Oh, Carl. Oh. Tell you what, he should have had his arse done yesterday, shouldn't he? He had his back and his front done. Look at that there. Oh my god. You know, and to think that earlier on, you know, I was asking whether he's gay or not. I feel a bit daft now. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to moan, do you know what I mean? I know I'm quite lucky to do what I'm doing. But Above the I thought the idea too. was that Ricky oh Steve God, wanted me to broaden my mind. That's what this is all about. But being in that carnival yesterday, that, that didn't broaden my mind, did it? That just knacking my legs up. You know, I'm here to see Christ the Redeemer, the wonder of the world. Why can't I just see that and go home? But now they're calling up saying, oh, why, why don't you go and see a block party? Just since I have a block party, party in Brazil. Occasion, really. It doesn't have to be your birthday. It's just it's a Wednesday. Let's have a, let's have a get together. So, uh,. Yeah, that's what a block party is. Just going along, hundreds of people. You know, I don't like being in crowds, but apparently they get quite busy. Yeah. Closest thing I've probably done to this block party is when I was a kid. And that was a very weird Jubilee. week out. Yeah, it was. And like, you know, there was like turned mm -hmm. up on the street, you brought your own food, everyone had a good time and went home. I didn't enjoy that. I remember sort of my man being annoyed that scruffy Sandra turned up and had a load of trifles. You didn't bring anything. Captain it's America. Be a big queue with someone playing some music. Episodes I don't know what I'm queuing for. And I hate sort of silly weeks and stuff. I mean, maybe I'm miserable. Maybe I'm the only you one here who isn't enjoying it. But if I'm not enjoying it, I shouldn't be here. I know this isn't for me. My ears just haven't stopped since I've been here. I get off the plane, they were sweating. I've never had sweaty ears. And since then, they've been overworked with constant, you know, drums, singing, whistles, chanting, dogs, <laughs> helicopters, gays. Gays! <laughs> Funniest fucking part of any of the broad so far. Just the way they cut it wasn't more or less it was the way they cut it too. Yeah.
Hey, it looked hectic. Dogs. Helicopters. Chanting. Gays. <laughs> oh, so stupid. He's just partying it up in Brazil. Brazil looks like a fun place to party. Yeah. Yes, it does. Brazil looks like a lot of fun, man. I want to go. Well, your ego. Gays would normally be on that list. Do that since again. Then, they've been overworked with constant, you know, drums, singing, whistles, chanting, dogs, <laughs> helicopters, <laughs> gays. One massage for your ego. Gays would normally be on that list, but the one I met here just won't shut up. Great place to live if you're deaf. That's what I'd say about Rio. Lovely and relaxing, if you're deaf. I say that at work sometimes. Yeah, you do. I, I say at work when I'm stressed out, I say in my next life, life, I hope I'm deaf. And I'm like, why? Then you couldn't, like, talk to me or hear me talk. And you're like, it'll be fine. Just dealing with people at work sometimes, man. It's, oof. See, I can be an old Winger too. Yeah. That's why I'm a boomer. You do have the heart of a boomer. That's where I got the name too, because remember when they, uh, I was working there. And yeah, they called people, you a boomer. People would be like, okay, boomer. Because you act like a boomer. <laughs> He'd be like, listen, well, here you kids. Oh, I, I left that in the end. Did me head in. You left it? Yeah, I, it was ridiculous. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not that fussy in that, but it, it was minging. There was underpants hanging on the end of my bed and they weren't even mine. <laughs> well, I've got a bit of good news for you. You've already met Celso. He has personally invited you to stay with him in his place. Pop round there, spend the night with him, have a great time. But what, what's, what's the point of this, seriously? But you already got on with him, he's already a mate. You don't go down I'll, hospitality like that. I wouldn't, you're in another country. I wouldn't go if that far. If someone offers you a bed for the night, you take it, my friend. Come on, treat it like a D&D. You know, you don't have to defend uh, the person who wants to be in the That in that gay term, I've heard that's a gay term, B&B, &B, for bum and bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Bum and bollocks. <gasps> oh! Santa, <Santa's laughs> bollocks. Oh, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Yeah, you are. Oh. oh my god, he's so uncomfortable around gay people. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh. That one guy, though, he was like, you need to massage your ego. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Bum and bollocks. I mean, I'll, I'll do it. I'm not... Uh, that, isn't that a gay term, that? I've heard that's a gay term, B&B, for bum and bollocks. <laughs> they love it. I mean, I'll, I'll do it. I'm not that bothered. I mean, I know his, his, his house is going to be nice and well, where I, I am now. I want to eat there. I want to see him eat. What am I doing with him? Is it a night in? Can we just have a game of cards or...? Let's have a game of cards! What are you doing? You go in there, have a bed for the So glad you decided to stay. Hey, where are you? Come in. Here in Brazil, we have a tradition. When a friend or, or someone comes to your place, this person has to sleep on your bed. Because this tradition, when you receive a I've friend... I've never heard of this tradition. Yeah, but this is Brazil. This isn't here in Brazil. Sleep even, in your bed? Even, yeah. I don't want to do that. But that's that's the, the, the tradition yeah, in Brazil. Yeah, but I don't know about the traditions. So keep well, it to yourself. that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> that's the way to say that you're welcome keep to my Keep it to yourself. to yourself. This is a lot of kit you're keeping. Yeah. And that's where I sleep. So where are you, where are you gonna go? I, I have to work. I'll be back late tonight. When Steve said go and stay, I did expect something different. I thought it'd be a bigger place. I mean, I ate, sure I ate anything that's Brazil overcrowded. I can't even think straight. I mean, for me, popping that up there, pop it in the bin. It's just like, look, there's a I hole there. Oh, I think he's that a drag queen. thing in life. If there's a hole, pop something in it. It's nothing oh, to do with yeah, he's a drag queen, he's but fucking. This is mental. I think it's a tradition that you should do if you've got the room for it. I don't even like this. I'm just having it because, again, I feel guilty. I'm just doing all stuff to please the fella who I don't even know. Damn, you called that don't like, on the spot. He doesn't even tell me what he does and stuff. 
Oh, Jesus, what was that? Here I am. How are you? I used to watch RuPaul's Drag Race. May I sit down? Did you? Yeah. <laughs> so when he started getting dressed, I like knew right away. He wasn't he was even like, <laughs> get, he was getting undressed. And you're like, I, I bet you he's a drag queen. Well, I also... So that was a good had, call, babe. Thank you. Yeah. He also had all these like elaborate outfits on like in the background, so I was like, well, he's probably a That's player. true, too. Yeah, he had so many outfits. Yeah. So that should have been, yeah. Yeah. But see, there's some things you pick you pick on much quicker than I do. I pick so. up on things quick, surprisingly. No, not surprisingly. Not surprisingly? No. Oh, thank you. Sit down, yeah. Excuse me? Ah, oh, I'm ready to go to job. This is the last thing you should know about me. I'm a female impersonator. Close your mouth. <laughs> He's so cute. As a female impersonator, He's my name is Lorna Washington. <laughs> Why so surprised? It's just weird. It's weird. Uh... The way I behave, you know. I don't know. No, I don't, I don't... no, just sort of looking at you, hearing the voice coming out that I know. Oh, yeah? But it's like you've had Wurzel Gummidge sort of change the head. Change the head. It's a little bit freaky. Okay. Be yourself comfortable, be at home, you're home, I'm leaving. Alright. Have a nice night. I'll see you when you get back. He does, uh, I'll, I'll say one thing for him though, like, he speaks very good English to the point where he doesn't even really have an accent. No, he does speak very good English. Like, if he was, uh, if he was here in the States, I wouldn't, if I struck up a conversation with him, I probably would. Just think he's from the United States. Do you know a compliment you gave me when we were in Greece that I really liked? What? That I can understand when, like, people have really thick accents but speak, are speaking English. Because sometimes yeah. in Greece, like, people would say, like, um, especially Mykonos, those girls were talking to me. And I was like, oh, yeah, like, what's the exchange for whatever money we were talking about? And you were mm -hmm. like, how the heck did you know she said that? Yeah, yeah. Which I think Yeah, if it's a really thick that. accent, I've, I have a really hard time. Picking up on uh, what they're saying. So yeah. yeah, I was very impressed with you in Greece because of that. I'm not they, good they, at pronouncing they the all, words. I mean, in Greece, like everyone we walked into, they all the Greeks there, they all spoke English. Yeah. But some of them had very very thick accents. They, not not a lot. Most of them spoke English. Yeah. Very very well to the point where some remember the guy in Sparta we ran into. Who mm -hmm. was uh, flying his drone around? Oh yeah, and I think he, he had his own YouTube channel because because I came up. He had to a him. guy with him, and <laughs> she, yeah, she you went up to him, and I said yes, us. Like I said at first, like yeah, Hello, and you then you like showed him showed him like something to read, and he goes he goes yeah, I speak English. What's up? Yeah, <laughs> I like um I said something because we were asking for directions, or I forgot what we were asking. Oh, to take a picture of me. To yeah, take a picture of us in front of the statue. So I like had this thing on my phone where if you speak English into it or whatever language, it will translate it into yeah. the language you want. So I was like, "Yes, us." And then I said, "Like, how?" Do, or I said, how, "Can you take a picture of us?" And before I even like turned my phone, he was like, "Oh yeah, I speak English. What's up?" We were like, "Oh." <laughs> yeah. He was like, "Yeah, give but me your phone." Like, <laughs> the way he said it though, because it was like it was like I I would have pegged he was from like Miami. Yeah, not, like not, he had like not Sparta. He was like, because you, it was like, do you speak English? And he's like, yeah, dude, what's up? Yeah, he was so like, yeah. <laughs> Which I thought was it's funny. It's funny, yeah. He looked Greek, though. I think he was. He was Greek. Yeah. Yeah. Because funny. he's the one who showed us where to go. Uh, see, the same Sparta. guy was the guy who showed us where to go to see the ancient Yeah, and you didn't Sparta even know site. that was there. We yeah. were just going to see the Leonidas statue, take a picture, and yeah. then go back to the hotel. So that was really cool. We got yeah. to walk around that. Because I think so. I really have to. I wish I there. remembered his name because I. I Really have to thank him for showing yeah. us that because he went to the site too and was do doing drone, his drone, yeah. drone footage. So he probably got way better footage than I did. Yeah, that's true. You know, so I, I hope he has a YouTube channel that I can see what he. I know because I wonder if we're in any of the footage. Yeah, <laughs> cool. I don't know, but it, yeah, he was a really cool dude. The people were really nice. It's normal. Nice. This they this were. Brazilian tradition of making everyone feel welcome. Does that still count when you say, I want you to stay, but I'm going out? I don't see how that, that counts. It's not gonna work. I, I don't know what's going on out there. Things like that freak me out. Me too. I wake up in the night without <laughs> laughing at me or something, like, a, like Chucky. <laughs> I've been in the toilet and there's a couple of cockroaches. I know we're in Brazil, they're everywhere, but 
I don't like them. I can't see him now. Don't worry about it. So he's got two fridges to put place in. I'm cooking, I'm cooking. I need a garlic. Where's the garlic? Is it in that one, that one? No, it's not. It's down here in the corner with a cockroach next to it. Look at that down there. Yeah. I've heard that cockroaches are like the, the toughest thing that's on the planet. They say, like, if there's a nuclear bomb, they'll, they'll carry on living. Okay. Yet in Celso's kitchen, dead. I mean, it's a bit rude, isn't it, he sort of looking at his house now. whilst he's out. Well, yes. There's a lot more in Florida than there is. Yeah. North. Well, there's a lot at work. Yeah. Outside. Yeah. So, yeah, I see them all We the have time. a lot of palmetto They, they never really too. freak me out, but, like, you know what freaks me out more? When I see it, it's weird with me. I, when I see a dead one, I get a little grossed out more than I see an alive one. Nope. <laughs> Not me. Nope. If okay. it's dead, I don't care. I can pick it up with a paper towel and I can flush it. No, but if it's alive, it's... I don't have to touch it because it'll go away. <gasps> no, what if it it's sees in your me house? And it, it sees me and it goes, oh, fuck, what and it goes away. What if it's in your house? I've never had a cockroach in my house. So. You've never had a cockroach in your house. It's Florida. No. Have you seen one in my house? Yes, I have. Have you? Yeah, it was in the bathroom and I killed it. This is the first time you're telling me about this. Yeah. I'm so aware all my life. What are you killing cockroaches for, you fucking plum? What do you mean? Did you want it alive? <laughs> I need it. It didn't kill do them. anything to you. It's gonna crawl <laughs> on my face when I sleep. I don't it's like not. it when they're alive. Wow, that was a genocidal <laughs> comment from Queen Boomer. I don't like it when they're alive. Because look, if it's alive and it and you can't get it outside or it gets away from you, you can't. You don't know where it is, so now you have to go to sleep with a cockroach or a palmetto bug in your house, and you don't know where it is. So you need to find it, and you have to destroy oh, palmetto it. Bu palmetto bugs, I'm with you. I, I really don't like them. They're the huge ones. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, buckle up, because uh, my other dog, Summer, has long hair. There's been times where, like, one's been on her. No way! I took her, yeah, I took her outside, and then all of a sudden I see Summer cuddling with something. Yeah. She's like... I'm like, I'm holding it and licking it, and I'm like, what is that? And it's a palmetto bug, and it was her little best friend. Oh, my and God. And then she looked so sad when I took it away. Yeah, and he shouldn't be out, should he? It's his I said it all there. It's his house, and he's not here. I don't think we should stay. Please leave your message, and we will return your call. Hiya, Celso. It's Carl. Uh, we haven't got your mobile phone number, so we've had to call your home number. He's leaving. Um, even though we're still sat here. But we're about to leave because it's, it's too noisy. Hope your Friday night was good. Uh, thanks for having us around. Honestly, I don't know why he invited me round. Because it's a bit weird, isn't it, that he gets me round and then he goes out. The only thing I can think of is, you know, he lives in quite a rough neighbourhood and he's thinking, oh, I'll get Carl round, you know, he can be a bit of security. That's all I can think of. Uh, I can just you lock go the door? Two notes. A quiet beach, really. Get away from it all. Because it's, uh, it's wearing me out. Well, I'm going up the mountain today, aren't I, to see the Christ the Redeemer? Which is a little bit weird that they've stuck it so high up on a mountain out of the way. It's almost like the locals don't want people to see it. I mean, on a cloudy day, you can't. It's supposed to be looking it's, over it's the weird. city. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm just going to go up and have a look. Steve sorted out a woman to give me a lift. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go and have a look at it, nice. see if it's any good. You know, I'm here to broaden the mind. I'll give it a go. I'm not. I'm not saying it's going to be rubbish before I've, I've seen it. I think I sort of think from a distance, Jesus, top of a hill, looking like he's a, you know about to bungee jump. You pass it, you go, there he is. Great, what else are we doing? That's enough, really, for me. <laughs> what the fuck? He's about to bungee jump. That's a fun-looking car. God, yeah. nice oh, to see yeah. you, too. I'm Dolores Elm. Dolores. Yes. Dolores. So, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this now. The full gate of right. the city. I am the driver. You yeah, you, like, you keep looking you there. You look like... Oops. Oops. I've just seen the back of Jesus' yes, head. Look, look what a beautiful, my beautiful man. A big fella. It probably takes a long time to get up there. 220. 220 steps. Yeah. Maybe you drive up. There he is. Pretty there high. He is. 
Well, they skipped the long route. Yeah. So. Come here, you're gonna see it very well. I will explain you very good. You yeah. are in the top of the world, man. Come, 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 because this is the view, you know. Look what a beautiful. Oh, that's and then here, no, look here, look from here with this light behind. Seems like magic. Look at the face, which is so delicate, so clean. The weight of the statue is 1,145 tons. Mm -hmm. And it's not a lot there to punish anybody to say, no, it's open arms, blessing the city. He's got the holes in his hands from the yeah, nice woman. Yeah, like um, it's that thing, isn't it, that she loves it so much that yeah, I'm not going to change your mind. I mean, I'm not going to come here and say, you know, it's, it's all right, but it's not that amazing, is it? It's like telling someone that the kid's ugly. It doesn't matter how ugly that kid is. The, the mum and dad love it to bits. And I didn't want to say it, but when I was looking up, I thought, the chin looks. Jeez, he says the things that, like, you think in your head. Oh, my God. It's like telling That's someone that like, the kid's ugly. It doesn't matter how ugly that kid is. The, the mum and dad love it to bits. And I didn't want to say it, but when I was looking up, I thought, the chin looks a bit big. <laughs> it's like that. It's his beard. All the rest of it is brilliant. The proportions, his arms and that, his body, but... They just need to, to chip away a bit more, I reckon, at the chin. It's a bit sort of Jimmy Illish. Say if I get back home and someone says, you've seen uh, Christ Redeem? I go, yeah. And they go, what, what, what's it like? I'd probably just say, it's like a, it's like a big ornament. Do you know what I mean? It's like something me, me Aunt Inora would have, sort of next to the telly. But I'd say, if you're <laughs> going to come up here, it's not about that, it's about that lot. Not coming up here and seeing all, all of you there. Knock that down. You still get a crowd coming up here. You could stick anything there. You'd stick a cafe there. That's and people would come up here. You can charge as much as you like because you, you've got nowhere else to go. You're trapped. You're dying of thirst. Charge about four quid for a can of Coke. The only mistake I made is I said, like, he had a chin like Jimmy Hill. And after that, I people tell me it's, it's not his chin, it's his beard. They don't look like yep. a beard. So they could have just done with chipping a bit more out, put some, make it look a bit more airy. I want to say honestly, honestly, statue, Carl. I, I know, but honestly, if... I think that might be a valid criticism. Of yeah, the they should have made they it more texturing. Because I've seen his statues beard a little more. where they do, like... Very good details. Very detailed beards, yeah. Yeah, of beards, so... That one statue where you were like, that's a handsome man! It was so... Funny. Oh, but and, he and, had like in a the museum in Athens. Very detailed cheekbones, very, very detailed hair. It was a uh, it was a Roman yeah. bust. But it was just so funny. Of, Brian uh, turns around and goes, "Wow, that's a handsome man." Yeah, I forget which. It was one of the Roman emperors. Yeah. Um, you were saying I, I like forget. he wasn't that big of one, but you think that the guy who made the statue was like, "Well, this is a handsome guy. I gotta." Yeah. Chisel. Actually, it wasn't a Roman emperor. It was uh, somebody who. It was, like, I think it was, like, a king of one of the Romans' client kingdoms. I don't remember. I can't remember which one, though. But it, it, I think yeah. if we look back through If we look back through the stuff, photos, we could we, we yeah. figure it out. But, yeah. But, yeah, I was like, damn, this, <laughs> it was funny. this is a handsome man right here. Because everybody, all the other busts look like, uh, they were like, uh... Yeah, he looks like Hercules, kind of. But, yeah, this guy, they really, like... Detailed. Detailed this flying ant around there. I imagine the workers going, I've had enough of this. Does that look like a beard? Yeah, it does, Bob. Let's go. Not hanging around here. That ruined it a bit. I don't know why there's so many flying ants up there. Ants shouldn't have wings. I mean, when you see them walking, <laughs> oh, they're, they're all over the place. They sort of go forwards and then come back exactly the same path and shoot off over there and come back again. If they're not good at walking, they're going to be useless with wings. I mean, if I don't like it, there's no <laughs> point in me saying, Oh, it's magnificent, that. Do you know what I mean? It's just, that's it's false, isn't it? And that's what I told Steve. And he was going, oh, Carl, you're an idiot. How can you not be blown away by, you know, the wonder of the world? Um, and I said, oh, I think it was the crowd that did me. I didn't, you know, I didn't enjoy it because of all the people up there. So he sorted me out a helicopter ride to see it from above. He said, that will blow me away. So have you been in a helicopter? No, no, I've never done it before. So it's just I'm scared of a little bit, you know, me too. nervous about it. It's just you've got no like chance, have you? If it goes wrong, crashes. it's not like a plane that glides, it just drops. It's almost, it shouldn't be in the air, really. Should have left a message for Suzanne, really, but... 
Do you want to say a quick word? No, I'll leave it. <laughs> she gets a load of money anyway, doesn't she, if it all goes wrong? Oh. <laughs> wow. That's awful, Carl. Oh, oh. She gets a load of money. I've always kind of thought people with money who buy one, you sort of go, absolute knobhead. What do you need one of them for? But it's definitely the best way to get about that. I mean, the landing's a little bit like, oh God. And I, I wasn't really enjoying seeing the, the wonder at the time, because I'm like thinking, am I going to land and all that? But it's, it's brilliant. Best thing, I, mean, I, I reckon I can go home now. What you're telling me is that you went up in a helicopter and you really liked being in a helicopter. Yeah, but... That's, what, that's it, is it? That's the, that's the big finale. Off the program, is it? <laughs> I just thought you meant when you said about the helicopter, that's I just said I enjoyed it, that's all. Yeah, and the Jesus thing was alright as well. You enjoyed the helicopter and the Jesus thing was alright as well. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well I must say Brazil looks uh, whoops. What happened here? Oh it's huge. It's huge. Okay. Oh. I must say, Brazil looks fun. It does look fun. It looks, it looks a lot pretty. Of fun. I want to go. It looks I very wish... pretty. It looks warm, which is very important yes, to us. Yes, we like that. I wish I could have seen him eat something. You know, I was thinking about that, and the fact that we didn't see him eat anything ma yeah. makes me think that he liked he the food. He likes the food, Because yeah, if he did right. like it, you know for a fact that they would show it. Yeah, no, you're right. So, so he, he probably really, really liked, liked the, food. the food, because almost everywhere else that he's been... There's at least been one incident where he's like... But I'm a foodie, and I want to see you eat food yeah. in other countries. Like, I want to see what you're eating. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Um, yeah, the everything about Brazil looked cool to me. Me too. Except for the tall buildings on the beach. Like, yeah. You know, I, I'm not a fan of that. But everything... That's my only criticism of... No, it still looks really pretty. Rio. It was Rio de Janeiro, wasn't it? That was it? your only yeah. criticism? Yeah. So you liked seeing all the peepees? <laughs> well, he want if he, well he either wandered into a nude beach or, or he go hearst yeah it was it was told to go there so I thought well that that's not a fault of Brazil it's the fault for the camera people for that's showing true. showing so much cock oh my god they showed so much of it that one guy walking that guy left it on there for a while yeah we like both looked away for a good like ten seconds and looked back and it was the same guy yeah. Which I don't even know if I want to include that in the uh, YouTube version of this video because <laughs> no, I'm on, can't. I'm finally on good standing with yeah. YouTube and I don't want to mess that up. Um, but overall, good episode. Is there so there's one? there's one more left. I think I know, Florida. but I can't remember the name of it. No, it's in um, South America somewhere. Um, not Brazil. To, I think he should go to Florida. But, uh, Florida, I mean, the weather's great, but as, as soon as it's, in terms of sightseeing, it's all just flat. It's like, you know. I know. I have places I could take him to. Yeah. We're going to go to the Everglades. We're going to go to the, the Everglades. Airport. is cool. Just don't get off of that fucking airboat, folks. We're going to go to Dry Tortuga. We're going to go snorkeling. We're going to go shark feeding. Go to Keys. Go to the Keys. Keys are great. And then we got to go to some ratchet part of Florida. And if you like a my, and if you like a city, definitely uh, Miami. Miami, and then we have to go to a ratchet part of Florida. And then Disney World. Oh yeah. Yeah. And judging from uh, what's going on politically lately, yeah, Disney World might not be here much longer. I like Disney. <laughs> they they're, no, they're talking about moving somewhere else, but that's Disney. Just, yeah, they're recently coming out and saying, like, we might move to another state. We're looking into it. I don't think they can do that. Some I don't of those know. rides have been there since the 50s. Yeah. They're going to pick who, everything who, up. And I don't know, it. babe. 
Who, who knows? I want to go on the Pirates All of the All that political now. stuff is so wacky anyway. Um, but yeah, I love that episode, and uh, sorry for pausing it so much again, but we like talking in these episodes. Yeah. We're talkers. Uh, now the next episode, I, I can't remember the name of the place or what country it's in. Yeah. But I do know that, I do know one thing that happens in it. Because it's 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 hilarious to me. Okay, don't tell me that. But yeah, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but you guys probably know what it is. And um, yeah, once we get done with that one, we'll uh, start doing season two because I have never seen season two. Oh, there's and, a season two of Idiot Abroad. Yeah. <gasps> and I didn't uh, know that. I thought we were done after like the no. next one. And then the third season, I believe it's Carl Pilkington and Warwick Dave- Davis, who is a uh, a small actor. Oh my god, this is awesome! Small British that. actor who is uh, he's he plays um, a lot of the uh, tiny characters in the Harry Potter series, like the goblins and oh, okay, and the, yeah, 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 and uh, he plays that one really tiny teacher also. Okay. Yeah, he plays various. He plays like eight. Yeah, he plays he like plays like eight, eight to ten different characters in, there, yeah. in that movie. Yeah. Um, and he's uh, because I've seen Life's Too Short. He's uh, he's a hell of a guy. I showed you that video of Life's Too Short where Johnny Depp is, yeah, trying to like because he has to play like a tiny person in his his next film. So he invites him to his hotel room and just like is like studying him. Yeah, <laughs> I love that was wild. But anyway, uh, thank you for joining us thank in this you. reaction today. And remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. I know I'm okay? so excited that there's a season two. Of <clears> I know, right? Yeah, yeah. and I've, I've never know. seen it. So Yay! this will be a first. That'll be a first for me too. He, this uh, the first season of this I've I saw many many years ago. So yeah, you've seen a lot of things. I have. Yeah, not everything though. No, but like anytime we watch a movie, for the most part, you've already seen it. So it's fun when I get most to of watch them, yeah. things with you that you've never seen. Yeah, somebody didn't believe me that uh, in the uh, one comment. He couldn't believe that I'd never seen... What was the movie that I put up on YouTube recently? Money um, No, I think it was uh, Train Spotting. Oh. Train Spotting. Um, I've never seen it. Which is... My, my sister had recommended that movie to me for years, but so many of the comments mm-hmm. was like, I've talked to all my American mates, and they've all seen Train Spotting, so you're full of shit, pal. And I'm like... <laughs> you're like, I'm so sorry. There's... So sorry, man. Like, what's that movie you think, that you... You really, think, you really think I'm faking it when there's tons of movie reaction channels out there that are like, I've never seen Jurassic Park. I've never seen Star Wars. No, I've never some se- people have I've never seen, seen Indiana Jones. I never it's saw like... Star Wars until we started dating. Yeah, but like... You, you I've see never it. seen Indiana Jones. Right, but... And I never saw... What's that movie you keep wanting to make me watch? He's like, Adrian. Oh, Rocky? Rocky. You've never seen the Rocky Rocky. movies, yeah. I've seen all the Disney movies, so... I haven't lied about one of those. I've seen almost every Disney movie. Yep, she has. Yeah. Yeah. But people have different things they like, so sometimes people don't see these famous movies. Yeah, but some of these movies that everybody's seen like you have to be living out under a rock to not see these movies the movie literally like has to like it smacked you in the head at one point what movie and even if you haven't seen and even if you haven't seen it you know references from it like you know you already knew before we watched star wars like you already know like well i already know that yes yeah. darth vader's uh the daddy of luke well that's because all these like comedy shows like parody it like family guy parodied yeah. star wars so i had like the Family Guy version of what Star Wars was. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we're talking too much. Yeah, we'll see you guys sorry. in the next uh, next reaction Time for video. A right. Snack. Time for a snack. Time for a snack. Peace out, boomerites. Bye.